Hey, Kiki Mahini, all this goes through this popping. We're going to go ahead and do a reading today. This one, as the title probably says, is about um, your spiritual energy, like your spiritual welcome or unwelcome if you're traveling somewhere. How is your energy going to affect or interact or be affected by the spiritual energy of a place, okay? Um, that's a big deal. And if you're somebody who's honestly like, you know, intuitive, psychic and stuff, you will feel different vibes. You will perhaps change or affect certain things when you go somewhere. Um, so good to know. It's good to know. We're going to do a few piles here. Let me go ahead and pick cards to pick from. So we have a flourish card. That'll be group one. We have an icy card. Ooh, it looks like fire and ice. <laughs> These are from the Asase Yodoro. We have, oh, hey, Emma. Um, <laughs> and we have eight sisters. <laughs> Some of you are like, I'm not going to travel, but I want to support Shahimi. So, like, we also have, like, this orange, blue, orange, blue going on. So, that's cool. Uh, so, go ahead and pick a deck here. Check out the links down below if you would like to cop a deck. And <laughs> I'll see you on your timestamps. All right. If you chose the Flourish pile. All right. For pile one here, let's go ahead and see what your messages are. We have some cards that I already shuffled and pulled out from this big tarot. And then we'll go ahead and pull some other oracles and information if need be, or if we want. So for you, the type of spirit and energy that you'll connect with is a King of Wands reverse and a Chariot reverse. This is intense. This is saying like, if you feel like, oh, <laughs> I'm going to go and talk to the pharaohs, they're going to talk to me kind of vibe. This is very much given me. And what I was hearing is humble by Kendrick Lamar. Okay. <laughs> Who that person thinking that they frightened? Oh, man, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, get off my stage. I'm the Sandman. Get off my... Mm, that ain't right. I'll make a play effing up your whole life. So, y'all, wherever you're planning to go when you pick this pile, you got to chill. Okay, because we have the Chariot and the King of Wands. You could have spirits who they could be hardcore about defending what's theirs. They could be spirits who are known for being warriors and athletes and kings and emperors and, you know, powerful like that. And they don't take it casual that people come into their space at all. You see four lions, four lions, four lions <laughs> on these cards. Okay, we have a pharaoh here. All right, we have like a freaking gladiator. Like, so wherever you're playing, they're saying don't just casually go where others had the, the common sense to fear to tread before. You know, some people, they just be walking up. Oh, look at this ancient throne room. <laughs> right? And they're like, you're in my throne room. Like, this is my dome. What, what are you doing here? All right? Do not awaken the beast, okay? Because I will get you. Um, so then we have over here, like, let's see some reasoning why. We have the four of uh, sacred circles, four of pentacles reversed, and we have the seven of cups reversed. So it literally, this could be that someone has already broken open like their treasure chest. Somebody's already messed with their treasures. Their, their, we have the crown here reversed. Their trophies, those look like trophies. Somebody could have messed with what was theirs. It could also be things that were sacred. So they could have been warriors protecting things that were sacred for the people. People have disrespected them. So what I'll say with this group, there's a thing in spiritual and the ghost hunting paranormal community, which is like, they're just so, so disrespectful to spirits and very bigoted and very, you know, they just don't care unless it's certain types of spiritual activity that they want to experience. Um, I would say to this group, don't be like that, okay? I'd say everyone, but particularly with this group, wherever you're thinking of going, the spirits might have had a lot of disrespect there. And when they see your energy, they're going to know that you know better. And they're going to tell you, ah, don't walk there. Don't mess with that. Put that down. And they're going to expect you to listen. And if you don't, they're going to be very upset. <laughs> okay? Very upset. You might even have some kind of physical contact. You could definitely get headaches because I'm getting like a headachey energy on the back of the head. You will know. Okay? This, this group of spirits where you're going, they like to see... They really love to see their land thrive. They like to see their accomplishments. They like to see, you know, all these positive things like that. Or even if we didn't consider them positive, they considered them successes. And so it's kind of like, you know, they've seen other spirits be played with. They've seen other spirits also have things take, taken from them. So if you're like, well, I was just going to go into this one part of this forest, but you felt that energy that's far enough. Don't come in here anymore. Listen to it. Okay. <laughs> I've given examples before when I was around, you know, different spiritual activity and I was with other mediums or psychics who they, oh, well, I'm not scared. Well, my gifts are strong, so I can do X, Y, Z. 
And I'm just like, well, why? Like, listen, it's like, okay, I'm in a physical body. That doesn't mean I can go touch whatever, you know, whatever I want on someone else's physical body. Like, what am I? That's not proven anything. That's not power. So for this group, that's that's the way to move when you go here is to listen. Even if you're like, well, I was just going to go stay with my friends at their house or their parents' house. And I didn't know how will it be out at their cabin. You might feel one certain room where it's that energy of don't come in here like back off and you should listen to that you might find out that's grandpa's room <laughs> grandpa didn't like people messing with his stuff and sitting in his chair you like back off you know what i mean so here we don't need to be in fear but we need to be respectful and with this group you really need to be respectful with these spirits and how you interact um any sacred talismans that are out and again it doesn't matter if everyone else in the group gets to do xyz or they think they get to do xyz let's stay spiritually smart okay <laughs> so let's pull a few more cards here any advice for the journey and spiritual travel i'm seeing 555 as well which can be a difficult number but we can learn um when we see 555 we can learn great things and go into advanced mindsets and spiritual energies by learning the gift and how to properly take on the five energy all right self-care reverse <laughs> <laughs> apprehension they said with look they said when you feel that um that apprehensive energy okay that is the spirit world your creator forces and the spirit beings themselves trying to help you take care of your health okay <laughs> they're trying to help you be respectful and take care of their health now if you want to give something to them if you're like well you know i would like to bring something for the spirits there spirits of the land or whatever some of you i would literally not go here you're getting this reading to not go here so if somebody is holding an event where you're like you know what how could they hold an event there when tragedy happened on that land and now it's a tourist site like i think that's disrespectful i, I don't know if i should go there this was your answer don't go there period um for those of you who you know you are uh um there's another circumstance or whatever this would say you know again just be very in tune when you're there to know and listen to the apprehension of where you should be going where you shouldn't be going because it is direct information from your creator and spiritual beings that are there experiencing it and telling you and again it's better for your health if you listen it's just better for your health okay and that includes your love life your spiritual health your psychic health okay so that's what i'm seeing for this group we'll keep it a little bit short and i'll talk to you again on another one bye all right, if you chose the icy group, okay? <laughs> Y'all fish is all that. Let's go ahead and see. We'll start with some um, of the big tarot that we have here to see what is the vibe of the spirits of the land when you show up, when you're there, how will they interact? Let's see, we have a two of pentacles and a three of swords. So you, um, I'm getting more that you guys might get energy from the animals, like the animals and the trees and things like that. It'll be fleeting. Uh, but you'll get communication here. There's Here we have literally a bear trying to stand up as an equal and communicate with somebody. We also have like a horse here kind of throwing up its head like it wants to be free. It wants to break loose of these reins. We have the cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms don't last for too long at all, unfortunately, because they're so beautiful. And we do have some spirits down here. Um, but they're kind of keeping a little profile and just kind of watching. They're watching. They're watching. So know that you do have that energy of the land and the animals watching wherever you're traveling and paying attention to how you're interacting um and with your gift and your spiritual energy they will try to communicate with you in a flash and maybe appeal to you maybe let you know what they're going through in that particular location something like that you know it's kind of like if you're stuck somewhere and people don't understand your language and then you find someone who does understand your language and you're trying to like let them know really quickly like how it is in that area or you know how you're doing or faring here you know kind of like when people are traveling and they meet someone of their same language there and they're like oh my gosh like how is it for you here you know kind of thing so that could be how the animals in the land might want to communicate it could be very specifically like some trees or something so if you're going to like an urban area for example you might feel the energy of the few trees that are there um if you're going to an area where I mean, most places there's something going on with the animals and animals are very pushed back, you know, and very d domesticated and stuff. You might have some th of those heart to heart moments where you're like, was that? I just felt like that wild animal was just like trying to tell me something or communicate with me. You might suddenly hear sounds of animals that you don't normally hear, things like that, and then try to get, get your attention and kind of speaking through kind of animal messages, okay? So what will this be about? We have the Nine of Wands reverse and the Four of Swords reverse. Yeah, so literally it can be a lot about what's going on with the earth. Um, 
you know, the changes that have gone on, the, the earth and the animals not being at rest with the Four of Swords reverse and not really healing. Nine of Wands reverse is there could be ongoing trauma. So with Nine of Wands upright, there could have been some kind of trauma or something that was experienced there. Um, but it's in the past and we're kind of still being triggered by it. But with it reversed, I feel like we are still having that trauma going on and on. So it could definitely be that energy where it's like, man, it's hard out here. <laughs> you know, so you see the ocean animals coming like, hey, humans, <laughs> take care of the ocean, you know, dives back into the water. And you as a sensitive, as a spiritual person, you'll feel those energies and those vibes. Maybe there'll be certain requests or certain things you can do to help or bring awareness or things of that nature. But 100% um, you'll feel both the intense beauty and the liveliness of the animals and the, the planet. But you can also feel where there's lack, where there's harm, where there is a, a need for balance in that, those areas as well. Yeah, yeah. And it could be also there's the, the energy of maybe there used to be some kind of sanctuary there that like the animals actually liked, that the, that the land liked. But it's no longer being respected. So you now sometimes there used to be shrines to protect um, particular animals or like certain streams or natural fountains. But now maybe it's just built over or it's like a tourist trap or something. And so you will feel that disharmony there over something that's sacred. There's that kind of energy as well. There could even be something else built up over what was traditionally respected as a nature site healing scars wow that's literally healing healing it's like the earth wants to heal nature wants to heal maybe you guys are also traveling to heal as well so nature is going to try to talk to you the cost your your footprint what is the footprint of traveling here what mark are you leaving start somewhere some of you have not like really cared about earth the earth at all um, or have forgotten um, maybe you're focusing on your own health or your own kind of beauty and everything and you're going to really feel that message of like hey I'm not just aesthetic <laughs> like I'm a breathing planet you know and I want to heal too and I want to thrive too and I want to communicate to you in beautiful ways too I want you to take care of yourself and here are these living creatures like actual living creatures here and beings that can also you know give voice and say that they want to thrive and they want to be healthy and they want to be able to travel and explore and be safe and so there's just going to be one of those moments you know certain times people have those trips where they go and whether they expected it to be like an earthy kind of travel or not they could be just have it like their breath taken away by a certain mountain or a certain river or a certain whatever it is tree and just change how they feel about how they're interacting with the earth and that's what this travel really looks like um, for you guys and it's going to really try to help you you know re regain your footsteps with how you're interacting with the planet so that's what i'm seeing for pile two thank you for checking in thank you to your spirit crew and i'll talk to you again on another one bye for those of you who chose the oh hell no nah. <laughs> card yes this is this is an actual oracle card in my Asasi Yodoro because sometimes you know you got the machete you just need to cut cords something's a it's just a big no okay <laughs> and we would always have that um bless you we would always have that talk uh on lives and stuff and I told y'all I'm gonna put it in one of my oracles and I actually did okay so to all the real ones who chose this pile <laughs> Here we go. Let's see spirits in your area that you're thinking of traveling to. What will be your spiritual interaction? Things of that nature. Start out with some big tarot and then we'll pull some oracle. We have a high priestess reversed and a five of wands reversed. So there's witches in this area. Straight up. <laughs> there's some magical practitioners here. And they don't really like you or anyone. Um, <laughs> it's probably not personal. The high priestess is usually not personal. It feels personal because personal the high priestess can read you to a soul level. But it's not personal. Um, we have five of wands reversed. So it doesn't look like they're going to bring any active... Um, any active problem to you but they could just be watching is that energy here it even feels like it in movies where they give you the sense that like you're not alone somebody's watching you right <laughs> so they could be like it also reminds me of that vibe too when people were like oh, Taurus you know what I mean <laughs> the people who are from that neighborhood you just feel them kind of watching you and shaking their head but in this sense it's a magical sense it could be from the other side as well people who were magical practitioners and you know maybe their mark is left on the city really gives me a New Orleans feel like 
that that energy where you go when you you know you're going to a city full of magical practitioners um and you know a lot of competitive shady people who want to be magical practitioners or who are just shady personalities you know competitive kind of catty people too as well so it could be a, this mix of energy here where low-key you know there's a lot of sleight of hand there's a lot of this and that going on um behind the scenes magically it could be a lot of hidden magic reminds me of like Vatican City or something like that too. A lot of kind of open symbols allegedly, but a lot of hidden magic that things are built on. DC, that kind of vibe. Um, so let's see, well, how would that be affecting? What would be the point in the message? We have the Devil card and the Queen of Swords reversed. So I always say, this could be why you chose, oh, hell no. Some of y'all are like, see, this is why I don't travel. <laughs> this, this is why. Um, yeah, because here... You want to go with your head protected and you want to be magically smart wherever you might pick a different location um i definitely don't think this would be a good place for you to settle down and i don't feel like it could also just be where like the spirits and the magical practitioners in that area are like why are you here like you're not part of these ceremonies what's the point like i don't <laughs> what is this why are you here and so some of you too um you could end up feeling the energy that this uh spiritual forces aren't good that they're negative you know a lot of times people feel that if they travel to an area that it's just not their spiritual beliefs um there's usually two reactions either they love it and they're like wow it's so beautiful that we have different beliefs or they could feel like Ugh, this, this is giving me the heebie-jeebies like it's weird um they could get pushback even from the spirit the spirits of those traditions and again from the magical practitioners who are warding off so i feel like you guys are trying to go somewhere that has a lot of words around it meaning they're trying to keep certain people out they're trying to um maybe they could actually try uh be trying to prevent religious wars and stuff this could be an area that's had colonization a lot so there could be traditional i guess what would be considered like pagan level original level spiritual beliefs that have been very smushed on by a bunch of other beliefs and so it's like you have people trying to hold their own ground you could be going to a city that literally like jerusalem or something Yerushalayim, where it's literally like this sector is this belief this sector is this belief this sector is this belief you know what i mean and then that's all built on top of these ancient beliefs and that's built on top so there's just like so many layers going on here i would not if you're casual um and protecting yourself spiritually or not very aware or if you're somebody who's very sensitive like if you're in like a page of cups energy right here in a way that could almost help you kind of get through this and just not ruffle anyone's feathers but in another way it's almost like just circumvent going there because it could be very overwhelming and here we have the response where there could be spiritual attachments there could be needing to cleanse and clear afterwards um if you were going there for spiritual work it looks like a no it looks like a heck oh hell no nah. <laughs> a heck no we don't want to go to this place to get spiritual work done <sighs> I don't know it just feels like you could end up being very spiritually overwhelmed and be kind of attached to something that is not in full alignment with your spiritual path or something of that nature okay there could be also people who are like so-called working spiritual beliefs that don't even like they're not even a part of them they just like you know they're just co-opting hoodoo or something you know what i mean so that's what i'm saying let's go ahead and get some more advice and any any more insight here oh preparations reverse God self reverse, love drop reverse, future reverse. Yeah, the, the message from your higher self is really to let just let this go and don't travel to this place at this time or even in the foreseeable future is looking like no. Let's stop preparing to go here. Let's not do this. Don't go here. Um is the vibe for this pile, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. Um <laughs> take the information to help you make your own free will decisions, okay? And thank you to your spirit crew and higher self coming through giving you the messages. I'll talk to you again on another one. Bye. All right. For those of you who chose the ancestors card here, let's go ahead and see spiritual energy, interactions at the place that you're going, what type of spirits might you run into, what might be the response to them connecting with you. We have the king of cups reverse and the moon reverse. So this is very emotional. <laughs> this is like Moni Myrtle. <laughs> it's so... Uh, Oh, I'm haunting. It's like that, like stereotypical ghost. Um, that's why I find it a little. Not their situation is um amusing, but I think other ghosts. Just how as much as I've done mediumship readings, like forever, I think other ghosts would even be looking at them. Like, could you calm down? Like, what? This, see, this is why humans make us moaning around in videos all the time. 
<laughs> All the movies were crying around. Okay, like, calm down, Myrtle, right? Um, <laughs> that's the type of it, the type of energy here. And you might be like, oh yeah, I was gonna go, and there's the the lady in the tower who cries. Like, yeah, they're they're known for it in this city. It could be like that, where it's literally like a story that's been passed down at the lake or the water. There could be something with moon cycles. So at the full moon, this spirit appears or whatever it is, and that is just known a story of longing and haunting and all this kind of thing. Um, is present there you could um, now there could be very intense emotional connection though and if you're an empath you really have to watch going here maybe you're wanting to go and nurture and connect to spirits you guys could have the specific atten um, intention to go and connect with ancestors and spirits um, but you want to prepare yourself because they could be very overwhelming emotionally and it's like the spiritual world will come down fully and channel into the physical world they'll want to be very very attached and they'll want like once they get going they really want to tell their story. It doesn't have to be a negative thing or something that we fear, but we just want to know how we work with energies, and we want to be very conscious that spiritual energy, especially emotional spiritual energy, um, can be very, very strong. For some of you, you um, could be, with the moon here, it hits Akashic Records, the fourth house in the moon, so you guys could be connecting to a certain place where there was deep tragedy that happened or something of that nature and so when you go you're going to feel like this impact this radiating energy from the actual earth okay so let's see some more advice and insight yeah it's like on on site like as soon as you get there three of wands and like boom there's a spirit in your face all right, we have strong, there's a big, big contrast that you guys will feel from like strong energy at night and then strong personalities in the day. So this definitely could be a place where there are spirits on different um, levels, um, certain realms. For those of you who don't know and don't do a lot of like uh, mediumship type work, sometimes spirits don't even know that they're in the same place or haunting the same location because they're on different parallels. They're on different like vibrational levels. So um, it could be here too that there's a very strong spirit like spirit and presence that's there in the day and then there's different ones that are there at night there could also just be layers of history that's there so you have different types of um, spiritual energy in that place as well um, but definitely it's like you see it's like as soon as these people got off the ship boom here goes the person ready to communicate like right in their face I want to talk what are you doing here who are you so as a psychic going into this place you could feel that very intensely um, especially near the water um, and with strong lunar or solar cycles so if you're going around eclipses or equinoxes you know things like that solstices full moons very 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 sensitive place even this person is holding an ankh so it could be oh sorry it could be the energy to like protect yourself um you know as you go and even the spirit the spirits being protected so people could go here and do offerings for some of these spirits and try to help them all heal and connect there could also be the energy that until some some of them until justice has happened or until all of their uh, all of their people are together and healed, all the souls that are with them, they're not going to cross over. So let's say you're going to a place where there was war and there was enslavement and there was different things that were happening. There's a lot of people coming on and off the ports. It could be that, you know, maybe your ancestral group there is recognized enough that people come like you would journey to go there and to recognize them but they could be saying all of us are not healed yet or all of us aren't recognized or all of us haven't had our names um, remembered yet so we're not going to cross over until all of us can and then we also are you know aware or unaware of these other parallels of other uh, groups of spirits who are around us on the same land so i feel like some of them are aware of it and some of them are very not aware of it they're just in their own story or like literally almost like a loop spirits can get caught in loops so this place does feel very haunted it's not just like spiritual energy okay let's see some uh, more advice and insight for this pile what do we have for you your body is your own i already got that feeling here saying don't go too open because spirits when i said they can get too close and attached because someone finally hears their story point blank the spirits especially the sad ones that you want to comfort they could try to possess or channel now we're not going to demonize <laughs> possession because most like traditions from indigenous people from africa to wherever around the world had that as just a well you know it's just awareness like that's a way of communicating to the spiritual world so we're not going to let a certain religion you know <laughs> that, that preaches hellfire to all souls like just make us all afraid of it however you want to make sure that you do things in context when you know how to do things spiritually with your consent to the spiritual world 
um, you know, ceremonially in a proper way. So you want to make sure that you're protected again in this area and that you don't get too much attachment from spirits in a way that you wouldn't want to channel them in, okay? So there is that wanting to be um, rested up. But they're also saying to try to contribute to the rest of the earth, the earth finding rest, and to the spirits finding rest in this area. Okay, so again, even though we might look and see a hip city, like for instance, Times Square is directly built on a black, successful black town that they demolished, right? Because of course they're never going to let us do that, right? So, um, so they think that, that, that. So you might go and you're feeling this other vibration of what happened. So they're saying continue to be aware of what actually happened on the earth where you went. And um, you try to make sure you're well rested and protected from, you know, whoever was the one who did negative in this area. Um, or from spirits who are just very overwhelmed. So they're really trying to connect and tell their story and be seen. And try to give something, a gift of rest. You know, some blessing, some healing work, spiritual work to the spirits who need to rest. And to the earth. Um, some healing and, you know, good energy to the earth that's there as well, okay? So I feel like a lot of you could be going to somewhere ancestral or somewhere where the ancestral spirits of that land might have undergone war or invasion or something like that, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll talk to you again on another one. Bye.